first thing in the morning, go ahead and email that confirmation to myself. Okay. Hey, Jack. Roy, what's going on? Ah, just making a killing as usual. Have a seat. Hi, Jack. Uh, hey, Kim. Are you here to take me on that date? Uh, not tonight, darling. Got business with the boss. Look, we need to talk about something in private. idea for you guys to be drinking together? No, but I need to see him, though. Hey, my man. Rory Rondell, smooth as ever. Looking sharp, man. Have a seat. Uh, fuck is he doing here? Oh, come on, David, look. He's only I've here. I've to taught you for five years. Yeah? Well, you know what I've been doing for five years? Waiting to sell a score. Don't start. Yeah, don't make it. Okay, me. look, knock it off. Just be the bigger man, both of you. Hey, stranger. Angela, looking beautiful as ever. Mm, you too, handsome. He's still playing for the right team. Care to find out? <laughs> no, I can't. It's official. I belong to Roy now. Lucky devil. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Jack. Damon. Vodka. Christophelis. Jack Coke. White Russian. Wait here. You son of a bitch. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, the missing link. You bring a whole new meaning to the term killing of the competition. What are you talking about? Wilkinson. What, did you guys break up? Where the fuck did you kill Wilkinson? Whoa, 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 guys, this is not the time nor the place. Who the fuck are you? I'm the guy with the gun and the right to use it. Are you threatening to shoot no, me? No, 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 he's just trying to remind you that all the swearing and threatening in the world won't close a nine millimeter hole. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? You should have been a detective yourself. Now I'll be the first to admit, Wilkinson had more enemies than you. But you're the only one in town. All right, when was he killed? Last night. Last night? Yes. Honey, where was I last night? You were on a phone call till about 10, making slow, passionate love to me till about midnight. And then experimenting in some light s and till two. Ooh, that's my boy. Got the hot wax burns to prove it. Listen, Cusevich, aren't you tired of trying to ruin my life by now? I mean, now you're trying to pin a murder rap on me? How do I know you didn't do it yourself? He was a buster, but he was my friend. And friends don't screw each other, Roy. Ooh, imagine that, Jack. And who the fuck are you? I'm his brother. I don't have to listen to this. But you hear me now. That is not the white Russian I ordered. <laughs> what did you say, motherfucker? What did you say? Be careful, Kuzovich. That could have been you. Get out. Один из нас должен умереть. Let's go. What the hell was that? Predicting the weather. You know, someday Damon and I aren't going to be here to protect your dumbass. Mouth, muscles, and morals. It's good to have the old gang back together again. That's the thing about Vegas. You never really know who you think you know. <clears throat> Detective Adamson. Mason White, LAPD. Is there anything you like? I've been assigned the Wilkinson case. Why? It bears some resemblance to a couple of cases I worked a few years ago. Hmm. So you think it's a serial? 
It's a possibility. But let's see what you've got first. Hey, boss. Sorry for interrupting, but Captain wants to see you. Thanks, hon. Oh, and uh, she's down at City Hall. Huh, really? Hmm. Adamson, I want you to work this case with White. No. No? I have to recuse myself. Conflict of interest. Sorry, Dak. This is direct from the mayor. Begging your pardon, sir. Well, what business is this of yours? Oh, I understand that Mr. Rydell is considering a run for the governor's seat. If he's involved in a murder, I need to know about it. And detective, the fact is, it's my business and no one else's business. Mr. Mayor, I'm best friends with the man fingers are starting to point at. You can handle it, and you can do it quickly and quietly. The press is going to be all over us. I don't have time for this. Just show white around town. Is the forensics report in here? Yeah, 38. Nothing special about it. Wilkinson took it in the head from about 10 feet away. No fingerprints, no forced entry. It says we got the call at 3.40 yesterday afternoon. That's right. Why so long? Well, he lived alone. The man didn't show up till around 3.30. Surprised none of his neighbors heard the shot. No, three heard it, but assumed it was outside. Any theories? Come on. I know you have at least one. Wilkinson had someone over for drinks. Later that evening, somebody breaks in. Wilkinson struggles him, perp takes a shot, goes for the loop. This guy had enemies. Other than your friend Rydell? What do you know about Roy? Let's just say cutthroat business sensibilities will earn you a reputation. Liz. Now what the fuck is he doing here? Observing. He can be a wolf. The friends with the killer. No suspects have been named yet. But Detective Adamson is the best investigator in Vegas, so if you want your friend's murder solved, you'll do whatever he asks you to. Okay. Come on, gentlemen. Hi. What exactly was your relationship with the deceased, Mr. Kisovich? It's Kusovich. Sure. Look, what Detective White means is that we're more concerned with solving this crime than pronouncing names correctly. We've been working together for about six years. What's your business? Investments. Kid or library? No. At all. Okay. Then why do you think Mr. Rydell killed Mr. Wilkinson? Well, we knew Roy was involved in history to Russia. There were six of us on the project. Roy and his partner has developed security system for Russian MRI processing company or something. And Roy had to live under her circumstances. What does this have to do with Wilkinson? Let's just say Roy wasn't named there as a suspect either. Well, you said there were six of you. Who were the others? Chase, Guare, and Sukai. Do you think we might be able to contact them? I'm sure Chase and Guare will want to talk to you. I'll get you their numbers. Why wouldn't Suke want to talk to us? Go and ask Roy. Boy, I wish everyone was as cooperative as you are. Look, last night you said we'll consider more enemies than Rydell. Who are they? Doesn't matter. Roy did it. Okay. Are you done here? Oh, just one more question, Mr. Kusevich? Yes, detective. Where were you on the night of the murder? Look, if you want me to start working with you, we gotta start sharing more information. Agreed. Start with why you're here. 
Look, I'll tell you everything when we have more time. But this case is already 36 hours old and getting stale, so let's just concentrate on that. Okay. Well, we know Roy was working with the group. They didn't get along and he has something to hide. That presents motive. Eh, hey, maybe. But he also has an alibi. Yeah, but so does Kisevich. I don't think he did it. I think someone else is involved. Well, why don't we go talk to Roy? Because Roy is flying to SoCal on business. Be back tomorrow. Okay. I'm telling you, Captain, he's not the right guy for the case. Then who is? I don't know. Yes, you do. Captain, his bias is the opposite of mine, but just as strong. Oh, listen, just keep an eye on him. Help when necessary. Stay out of the way when the fit hits the shan. You can keep your name off the paperwork. I don't want this in the news any more than you do. I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. White will bring in the shooter. You'll just have to be along when he does. Comprende? Oof. Man, I, it's office, uh... Hey, so what are you doing here? Thought you could use a lift. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, but Angela's waiting outside. No, no, she had a uh, manicure emergency. Asked if I'd pick you up. Oh, really? I'm surprised she didn't ask you for a police escort to the spa. Well, what makes you think she doesn't? <laughs> so what's going on? Where were you last night? <laughs> what? Well, I'm on the clock here. Come on, man, where were you? I was in San Diego. You have witnesses who can testify to that? Oh, yes, of course. I was meeting with Tactera and the Isaac Ward. What did you do? Well, we had dinner at 7.30. We had drinks from about 10 to 2. Hey, I've got the uh, no, bar tabs no. proven. What did you discuss? Investments. All right, look. I'm going to need their numbers. Oh, come on, Jack, if you call them, they're going to think I'm involved with something. Are you? Am I what? Involved with something. You haven't even asked what's happened. <sighs> okay, what's happened? Kusevich died last night. <laughs> Was he murdered? I don't know. Was he? Ah, okay, Jack, come on. Look, man, you basically threatened to kill the guy. And 24 hours later, he ends up dead? That automatically makes you a suspect, Roy. You haven't even asked how he died. How'd he die? Okay, so you say it was an accident. It's within the realm of possibility, but I really don't think so. Well, then someone is setting me up. And who do you think that is? Damon. Roy? I don't know. What's going on? Kiusevich bought it. The white Russian's dead? Too bad. I really had fun playing with that guy. Look, who else would want Wilkinson and Kiusevich dead? You haven't met Chase and Quarry yet, have you? Chase and Quarry? Weren't they friends of him? I mean, they wouldn't kill their own friends, would they? <laughs> I can think of a scenario. See, 
Quarry always tried to be a better businessman to me, and he always failed, so maybe he's trying to be a better thug than Kiyosevich. And maybe his jealousy finally got the best of him. Then why would they set you up for? Well, that's just it. They wouldn't. Because they depend on me. Besides, if they were committing murder when I'm not even in town, then how can you call that a setup? Something's not right. Oop. Excuse me for a minute, gentlemen. Hey, does Angela know I'm a suspect? No. I haven't told her anything good because I've gotten her way too involved with those guys before. Understood. Who was that? Who? The guy you went back there to talk to. He's had to make a call. Yeah, but... Looks like lunch is on me. How was your trip? Uh, it was okay. Baby, what's wrong? Kusevich is dead. Half fire. Honey, you shouldn't feel bad. I don't. I'm glad those bastards are dead, but I am confused. I think someone's trying to set me up. Who? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Have you given any more thought to it? Do it, baby. Oh. Leaving? Yeah. Let's just go. Let's move to the islands. We've made enough. We can start fresh. Look, up until this week, we've had such a great thing going here. Why would you want to walk away from it? Paying them ten thousand dollars a month is a great thing, and it's a small price to pay for happiness. And you and I, we're happy, which is a lot more than I can say for most people. I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this. Baby, if someone's pulling strings to get to you, whatever it is, probably won't stop until they've really gotten to you. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But I've seen him act like this before. It's his way of bluffing. You will let me know when you've got something, won't you? Of course, Captain. Captain. Yeah? Thanks for putting me on this case. Don't make me regret it, Jack. But I am glad you're getting along with Jack. Don't remind me of that, please. Come on, Damon, he was just doing his job. He didn't have to do anything. He could have lost some of the evidence. And if he lost some evidence, he'd be in the cell right next to you right now. Yeah. He is a good cop, isn't he? He's an honest cop. And you should be thankful that he got you out early. He did? Yeah. Pulled a few strings with the parole board. He promised them that you were done with a life. Hey, a man's got to make a living. Is Damon really Roy's brother? Yeah. 
Roy's parents adopted him when they were kids. I sent him up a few years ago. Shouldn't he be trying to kill you instead of them? Well, Roy and I are best friends. Been that way for years. As long as I stay that way, he won't touch me. What's his connection? I don't know if there is one. Hmm. But I'm hesitant to put him into this mix. <sighs> There's gotta be someone else. Hmm. So, what are you thinking? It's possible. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, assuming a professional is involved, everyone's alibis would be negated. I mean, for all we know, Roy could have been in Borneo and paid someone to do it. Hmm. So we check some bank accounts. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Great. All right, look, I need a list of all transfers, withdrawals, and purchases over, say, say 5,000. Piece of cake. Hey, Jack. Damon, we need to talk. Hold up. Hey, Jack, I want you to meet... Uh... Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Outside now. All right. I'll be back. Don't go nowhere. Okay. Look, I did some digging. With whom? There's this guy. I don't know his name. He's a broker. Okay, look, let me explain it. The employer finds the broker. The broker hires the blue screen. The employer and the blue screen never, ever meet. Oh, what the hell's a blue screen? He's a guy that wipes your hard drive clean, so to speak. We call him the blue screen to death. Oh, that's cute. But what else can you tell me about him? That's it. That's all I know. You sure? I swear. Come on, man, don't look at me like that. Look, I'm on your side, Jack. Thanks.
All right, I'm on my way to Chase's place. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Query. I'll meet you there. I'm sorry, Mr. Query. Your membership was based upon Mr. Kusevich's sponsorship. Since his membership has been revoked, you are no longer authorized to enter. Sam, it's all right. I'm inviting him in as my guest tonight. Why, thank you, sir. Let me buy a drink. Much obliged. It's just not fair. I'm a respectable businessman. I deserve respect. I hear you, pal. My family deserves to live well. The police protect you? The police. You know, if the police were to offer me for threat, protection, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't want to subject my family to that. I don't want them to live in fear. Besides, this guy can get to Kiosovich. He can get to me. Come on, buddy. Why don't I take you home, huh? Relax, rookie. We're just gonna hang back until Adamson gets here. What's the news, guys? Come on. Don't give us an excuse, asshole. This guy ain't giving us any excuses at all. Yeah, well, I, I, I wasn't, I, I've never even. Don't worry about it. Look, we both saw what happened. Everything was by the book.
I hate my job. Sorry. So, this is where you come to unwind, huh? Yeah. Nice. You know, we did volunteer for this. Yep. And we can quit at any time. Yeah. But there's no one else to do it. Yeah. Look, Jack, about why I'm here. I started a file on Rydell about four years ago. Two CEOs he was competing against met with, shall we say, untimely deaths. That's what makes you think Roy was involved. Those two deaths cleared the way for Rydell's early success. I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. We had to close the case for political reasons. Really? I've been watching Rydell and his associates, just waiting for him to come back up on the radar. Why don't you email me them case files? I'll look over them, see what I can get out of Roy. Roy and I owe each other our lives, but that doesn't put him above the law. Wow. Why are you so hell-bent on getting Roy? He's the one that got away with it. I always know when they're guilty. And I hate to see a guilty man walk free. Well, if fate isn't tickling my tatas tonight. <laughs> so you're going to say I can't buy you that drink now? Have a seat. I don't eat dark chocolate. Why? It's rich and goes down so easy. Entertain the ladies for a moment. It's gonna take longer than a moment. You know the rules, Seth Yodi. Hey, Jack, we make the rules. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to contact me here, even if it's a matter of life and death. With you, it's always a matter of life and death. We came by to uh, congratulate you on such a great job you did tonight. What? A rookie cop kills an innocent man? And that kid has to live with that for the rest of his life. Well, it wasn't my idea, Jack off. You fool, Jack. Take it easy. Off me. I don't want to see you guys here again. Yeah, we'll do what we tell you next time. Not a coincidence. Let's go over the events of last night. I blue screen figures on us putting units on these guys, so he knows he has to get one or both of them immediately. Heard to tell you about fucking killing? You I'm asking you if you've heard when anything you about it. When did you ever help me out? When? Tell me one fucking you time you ever helped me out. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. See you later. I said, here we go. Oh. Anything I should know about? No, they're not helping. 
They never heard of blue screen. Adamson. Make me happy. You're the man, Jimmy. Thanks. All three match? Maybe you'd make a good detective someday. So you gonna tell me what you were thinking earlier? Maybe Chase deleted Wilkinson and Kusevich. That would explain why there was no forced entry in Wilkinson's apartment. Wilkinson actually invited Chase in. Well, I certainly hope that's the case. I mean, what we don't need is an assassin running around Vegas making a name for himself. Let's say Blue Screen is real. If we catch him, we can discourage any other copycat killers. All right, look, let's keep working under the assumption that there is a blue screen and he is involved. So what's our next move? Find the broker. So, this is your infamous buddy. Damon, this is Detective White. White, Damon Rydell. Nice to meet you, convict. Take it easy, White. Oh, the way I hear it, you're cold blooded pusher. I'm looking for a reason to get back in the joint. What have you been telling? Nothing. White, take a walk. Meet me back here in 10. Look, I need you to talk to me. Tell you what, you get in the cage with me for one round, I'll tell you everything you need to know. You're kidding. Stubborn bastard. Wow. Hello. Hi. So what the hell are you getting yourself into? Look, you have got to start trusting me, Jack. Damon, I can't trust you if you keep me in the dark. I'm doing this for Roy, okay? You gonna go back to jail for him? No, but I owe him big time. And by being a murder broker? Uh, it's a pretty serious accusation. It's not an accusation, it's just a suspicion. I haven't even told my partner yet. <laughs> and what a pleasant individual he is. I got a line on the broker, all right? I can't confirm he's involved in this. If you want to check it out yourself, that's your business. But he goes by the alias L Corridor. He owns a rattlesnake restaurant down in Tijuana. You should be able to take it from there. Okay. Thanks, Damon. Good fight. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Ugh. Hey, you okay? Yeah. What you got? Feel like going to Mexico? Real classy guy. 
Yeah, but your sister'd like him. <laughs> you know my sister? Because she probably would like her. Are you ready? Ready for what? Oh, come on. We can't just waltz in there and tell this guy we're investigating him for a crime in another country for which we have no witnesses or no evidence. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's just hang back. We'll check things out later. You know this guy? Before I rated my twenty percent. Look, the employer is very happy with your work, and you can press me. I thought this guy was supposed to have money. Yeah, that's what they say. Did you bring a bug? If we leave behind evidence that we were here, then we're gonna get thrown off the case and demoted. Can you crack that thing? Not quickly enough. Stand. One second. What? What's that? Looks like a wax seal. This 
just take it with us. All right. Ready to get back to the good old US of A? Yeah, let's go. Adamson. <sighs> Thanks, Jimmy. What? Standard candle wax. You can buy it at any arts and crafts store. Wasted night. Yep. I need you to tell me about these guys, Roy. What do you want to know? They're dead. Well, tell me about your relationship with them. I'm not involved, so our relationship isn't relevant. No, it is. The evidence is starting to mount against you. Evidence? What evidence? Don't get defensive. Well, Jack, you're accusing me of murder, so I'm going to get a little defensive. Roy, I'm here as a friend, all right? Are you? Well, just tell me, did you see Wilkinson the night he was killed? OK, if I was there, even if I did, you know we have business together. I can't believe you lied to me. All right, let's take a walk. Okay, so then what did Kiusevich tell you? Don't worry about that, Roy. Tell me your story. Okay. Started about four years ago. We, we were, were working on this really intricate way Hello. of manufacturing. We? Yeah, Suke, me. But because the market started to downturn, I couldn't raise the necessary capital through legitimate channels. And then I met Kiusevich. And he was able to raise the funds through other ways. They agreed to let us keep the domestic profits, but they were insistent on retaining complete rights over the international revenue. Uh, well, then they sent us off to Moscow to adapt our process for a Russian radiology network. So in order to get even with them for killing Suke, I modified the code so that it would only work on U.S. networks. I got rich, and Kuzovich and company lost their investment. Can they just let this go? <laughs> Hell no. Because I escaped, I was a witness to their murder, and Kuzovich threatened to tell the Russian mob where I was unless I paid him hush money. Well, that's where the 10000 a month comes from. How did you know that? Roy, my detective. Well, you know it's my job to find that out. And that's exactly what you told Damon before you Mirandized Whoa, him. take it easy. Roy, I hate what I do. You know that. Then why do it, Jack? Because I have to. I have no choice. Angela wants out. Out? Out of what? Everything. Sell the house, the cars, the businesses, run off to the islands, Costa Rica, wherever. Were you considering it? Yes. I don't know. But hypothetically, if we go, would you come with us? I mean, Roy, that'd be great. Come on, but... Jack. We would just like old times. Boy, I can't. Look, I can't leave Vegas. Jack. She's not coming back. You don't have to wait. I know. 
Let me buy you lunch. Hi. Something to drink? Uh, yeah, I'll just have a water. Sure. Yeah, iced tea's great. Thank iced you. Iced tea? No problem. So you're gonna let me take a look at your phone bills? Why? What are you looking for? Depends. What are you hiding? I gotta hit the john. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Hey, so why don't you tell me about LA? What do you mean? Listen, Jack. The fortunes of some are often precipitated by the misfortunes of others. It happens all the time, and you can't expect me to feel bad about that. Yeah, well, you know what? We've been friends for 25 years, Roy. 25 years. I want to know why you didn't tell me about it. Because, anything. Jack. You're such a friggin' honest cop. I didn't want you treating me like every other suspect, and I didn't want you digging and finding connections that weren't there. Listen, Barry, boy, I just didn't want you judging me, all right? I just... I just didn't want us to lose what we had. We have to admit, it's kind of funny that people tend to die when they disagree with you. Thank you. For perfectly proving my point. Christ, Jack. Who are you? Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Just want to let you know your partner and other officers are at Roy's right now. Okay. You get the warrant, I'll bring them in. All right. Leave it on Mark there. Copy. Shit. Roy. Look, we just raided your house. But you did what? Look, we found evidence. They're getting an arrest warrant. It's fucking unbelievable. I'm sorry. And now's your chance, okay? Don't go home. Turn your cell phone off, get out of town, and don't tell anyone except Angela where you're going. And yeah, now I can see why she left. No, you... I'll do what I can. And you'll always put your work before your friends, Jack. That's not fair! What are the chances just to say your friends are involved in this? There isn't. How can you be so sure? I'm sure. Anything? Well, did anybody follow her? Not me. So where do we look next? Mr. Rydell. Detective White. Nice to see you're still carrying the old torch for me. Thank you, friend, for telling me that you're working with him. Roy. I don't know where you're going with this investigation, but I am not a criminal. I'm a respectable businessman, and as such, I'm willing to cooperate with you gentlemen in any way I can. Tell me what evidence it is that you think you have against me, and I'll try to explain. Thank you. I appreciate that, but you have the right to remain silent. I know. But silence won't help me now. We recorded a conversation between you, Quarry, and Chase. I believe you said, let's say I don't kill you. How much is that worth? Now that sounds like premeditation to me, which amounts to murder one. I simply said what I needed to to get them out of my house. And let us not forget, Detective White, that it was your boy that killed Chase. Well, can you explain the cash? What cash? He doesn't know about the money. Angie Big, what are you talking about? I've lent Damon some money to find his feet. I've made a few withdrawals. How much? 50 grand. Oh, God damn it. He's gonna pay us back. I know, that's not the point. I transferred 10 grand to him as well. Why? Legal fees. So what, he's playing both of us for money? Why would Damon want to set you up? See, he wouldn't. It just doesn't make any sense. Roy, I don't know what Damon has planned. All right, the safest place for you and Angela is right here. 
Well, you'll forgive me, Detective Adamson, if I don't feel safe staying in such a public place. I think it might be better if no one knew where we were. Look, you might be fooling him, but I'm gonna get you this time, motherfucker. Bring it. Tell me about Damon's jail time. Well, not much to tell. Did five years, model prisoner. Called in a few favors, got him out early. It was all above the table. Did you ever see him in jail? No, well, whenever I went there, he refused to see me. And you say he got out on Wednesday, right? Yeah, what's this about? Look, I did some digging, and I found some video recorded at Henderson Executive Airport on Monday. Watch this. Now, that plane had no markings and no flight plan with the FAA, and he was the only one who disembarked. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Now, the prison records indicate that he did his time and was released on Wednesday. But I checked with his neighbors on the cell block, and none of them had ever seen or heard of him. You telling me he didn't do any jail time? Looks that way. You joined a stakeout at Roy's Motel? I'll find Damon and see if he'll come in voluntarily. Now you're talking. Now keep an eye on the perimeter. Make sure nobody comes up behind us. All right? Good job, officer. Adamson. Guess who's just pulled into the motel? Surprise me. Mr. Quarry. At the same motel? Uh-huh. And he just checked into the room right next to our old friend, Mr. Rydell. Huh. You mean to tell me that something's actually going to be convenient for us? <laughs> I'm here to tell you. Okay. As soon as I'm done with dinner, I'll head over. Okay. See you soon. No. You have certain obligations to us. Don't remind me. It's our job to remind you. Why don't you do me a favor for once, Safioli? You want me to do you a favor? Yeah. What is it, Jack? Tell me about the Russian mob. The Russian mob? Bunch of undisciplined drunks. So you know them? Yeah, I know them. We uh, had a few dealings with them, dug a few holes, sent them a message. We didn't want to get you involved. You didn't want them to encroach on your territory? Well, you said it, not us. You don't look too happy. Should I be? Look, would you hear about it if they were trying to make another move here? Maybe try to tie up some loose ends? Probably, but I don't think I'd tell you. OK. Where are you going, Jack? What's it to you? Well, we have somebody coming to dinner to join us. Excuse me? You know, Kim, we've seen you together, Jack. You guys make a good couple. Why don't you give her a shot, huh? Come on, you've been alone too long. Look at this kid over here. Storm in here. Mm -hmm. Let's say the Russian mob was trying to make another play for Vegas. They want to make a name for themselves, right? Absolutely. Well, what better way to do that than to set a few examples before they come? Yeah, but would they kill their own man? No, Kusevich? Come on. Wasn't the most pleasant guy we ever met? No, but wouldn't they want him around for, like, introductions around town? Yeah, I'm still working on that one. Anyways, what's going on here? Where are they at? Rydell is in six, quarry seven. I'm gonna go talk to Roy. You want me to go with you? No, you hang back here. Keep an eye on things. Call me if anyone comes. You got it. Baby, it's not worth it. Yeah, it was paradise when we first moved here, but we need to move on. No, we don't need to move on. I put in too much time and worked too hard to build what we have here. I just want this whole mess to blow over so that we can go back to the way it was. Who is it? It's Jack. Shit. Are you alone? 
White's in the car outside. It's the Russians. What? What haven't you told me? I told you everything. Tell me about the Russians. All right. Start talking. All right. All right, the money. That Kyusevich and the others invested in the company was Russian mob money. And? And so Kyusevich thought he could regain control of all the domestic profits by killing Suke and me. But obviously that backfired. We met this guy in Mexico named El Cord. Yeah, I know him. Ah. <laughs> of course you do. Well, then I heard that the Russians were mad at Kyusevich for losing their money, so I thought if they killed him, they could get away with it. And then in turn, that would get me off the hook with all the blackmail payments. So I made a call to the Russians, gave them some convincing evidence that Kyusevich lost their money gambling, and then I told them where they could find El Corridor. Roy. So you are indirectly responsible. Jack, I may have given him the weapon, but I didn't pull the trigger. People have been convicted for less. Nothing ever happened. So I assumed that they let it go. But you did set this whole thing in motion? Look, Jack, they tried to screw me, so I screwed them right back, but I didn't kill anybody. Okay, you're right. Pulling the trigger is what counts. But we may still have to charge you with solicitation or even accessory. Don't worry. I'm sure a good lawyer can get you out of it. If it was the Russians. Right. Well, we need to warn Quarry. That's easy. It's right next door. Oh, you gotta be joking. You guys stay here. their two friends so they could get all the blackmail money. He felt guilty and killed himself. Yes. So after all this, you didn't save any lives or bring in any callers? No, ma'am. Great. Nice work. Sorry we let you down, Captain. Good thing we're not paying you commission. Well, with your permission, I'd like to keep the case open. See if there really is a blue screen. And I need permission to wiretap El Corridor's office. You know, I can't authorize that. Do your digging on our turf. You two can go now. Thank you, ma'am. 
I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay. So what's on your mind, Jack? It's Detective White, ma'am. You're gonna tell me how you hate working with a partner. No, 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 he's a fine partner. What's the problem, then? He may be the blue screen. That's a pretty serious accusation. Look, I know it's a stretch, but all the pieces fit. We don't know who the hell authorized this transfer from L.A., but it did all happen before Wilkinson. It did? It's the only way the timing would have worked. And he was the one that proposed that a professional was involved in the first place. Okay. Go on. I didn't see him when the others were killed. There are a million people in the city who didn't see when the murders took place. Jack, I can't have you accuse a decorated officer with connections of murder based on circumstantial evidence. See if you can find something solid. Otherwise, don't mention this to anyone. Okay. Don't mention this ever. I heard you. What are you doing? We just got a new case. No, we're keeping the blue screen open. We have all these notes in the file, Jack. Yeah, well, that board helps me think. OK. You're still hung up on Corey. I mean, what's up? It just doesn't sit well. Corey copped to it in his note. It's over, Jack. What more do you want? Funny, you're supposed to be this uh, great cop that doesn't let anyone get away. Jack, it's not the biggest case of my life. Let me ask you something, Mason. How'd you find out about Wilkinson so quickly? I told you, Jack. I had Rydell and his associates put on a watch list. I, I'm down here for Rydell. And frankly, I don't want to spend another minute on this case unless we can tie it to Rydell. Don't make this a vendetta. Listen, you're the only one who wants to prove the blue screen exists. If you weren't so hell-bent on making a name for yourself. Oh, please. Not everyone's motivated by fame and fortune, Mason. What do you want to do here, Jack? I want to catch the blue screen. There is no blue screen. It doesn't exist. Quarry ordered it. Chase did it. End of story. So if that letter were true, then why would they try to force a way to leave town? They'd be throwing money away. Furthermore, if he really wanted to kill himself, why would he pack his bags and go to a motel? Maybe he was confused. No. He was afraid of someone, and he ran. What are you thinking? Why did Damon need all that extra money from Roy and Angelo? Maybe he was just trying to scam both of them. I mean, he is a convict, after all. I think it's time we put the fear of God into him. OK, great. All right, let's go. No, you stay here. Check in with IT on those account numbers. I'll take care of Damon. OK, but uh, if we don't come up with a blue screen, say, by the end of the week, we move on to a, a new case. Agreed? Jack? So you say you didn't know that much about El Corridor, huh? Looks to me like you guys have been buddies for quite some time. Yeah, you're right. We served together for two years. Yeah, well, why don't you tell me about some of the other guys on your cell block? What? Tell me about Ramirez. Tell me about Jones. There's nothing to tell. Ramirez is a gangbanger. Three striker. Jones was falsely convicted. He shouldn't even be there, but he won't be there long. There was no one on your cell block named Ramirez or Jones, dumbass. I know you never served any time with El Corridor because you didn't serve any time. Why don't you just cut the shit and tell me the truth, Damon? You can't. You know better than anybody else that some things should never be spoken. You knew we were going to find out about it anyway. Only if you play by the rules, Jack. Oh, Jesus Christ, can't you just see I'm trying to do my job here? And what the hell did you do with all the extra money from Roy and Angela? Legal fees. After my legal fees, I only had enough left over to get a car. You blew 60000 10, Jack. Only 10. Kim. 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 Who's Kim? Roy's secretary. Angela thinks she transferred you fifty thousand. Roy thinks he transferred you ten. You only got ten, right? Why would she do that? Maybe to protect Roy. She probably got in contact with El Corridor through the Sicilians. What are you waiting for? 
Roy, you don't think... Yeah, I do think. He's my brother. But I wouldn't put it past him. He's got the money and the motive. You know, you're starting to sound like Jack. What do you hope to find down here, baby? I don't know. Answers. Why don't you just go inside and talk to him? Okay. No, wait, Roy, I wasn't being serious. Join me for dinner? We gotta talk. You boys obviously have some things to sort out. I'll be in the senorita's room. Why are you here? Why are you following? What are you doing down here? You know you're not supposed to be here. Jesus. Where's the baño? It's around the corner to your right. I thoroughly enjoyed the rattlesnake, although this is probably the last time I'm going to eat it. I'd like everything to finish within the next 24 hours. Sure. Thank you for your loyal patronage. Time for us to leave Vegas. What? Oh, baby, I'm so glad. Let's just leave now. Thank you for being a pal. No problem. See you at the herring. So, what did Damon say? What the hell were you thinking? Baby, what's wrong? Be straight with me. For once in your life, be honest. How could you do it? Honey, I did it for you. Those guys were not gonna stop, not while they were still alive. But they got the message. They got the message after Wilkinson and after Kuzovich. But Aunt, why did you have to kill Chase and Quarry? They had families. Let's just move past this, okay? They're not in our lives anymore. They can't get to you. It's just you and me now. How much were they? What's a human life go for these days? 10,000 each? And why was it 50 and not 40? I had to pay for one more job to get some things cleaned up. You were gonna have him kill Jack. What? No, God. You just trust me. You don't want to know who the last target is. Baby, let's just go. Let's sell the house. Let's get out of here. I don't know. I feel like I don't even know you. I love you, Roy. I love you. Can you see that? I... I'm gonna need some time with all this. Okay. Okay, I understand. How about two weeks? If I'm not ready by then, what, are you gonna have me whacked? Come on, baby. Who's my howling monkey? So, what was Damon's connection to this whole thing? He told me how to find El Corridor. Are you satisfied now?
Reputation. So, do you like the... Mi arte de la semana? Are you gonna sit down or is this another? Half. 24 hours. The employer is extremely satisfied with the work. And there's more employers that are in need of your services. Do you know this guy? You know, the first animal I ever killed was a squirrel. I accidentally ran it over with my parents' minivan. I really did try to avoid it. When I felt it going to the tires. I slammed on the brakes, looked out the rearview mirror, and saw it twitching and jerking, much like you are right now. now I stepped out with a gas can, ready to put it out of its misery. But as I got closer, I was fascinated. This creature was trying to keep its soul from being ripped from its body. There was, there was so much emotion going through this thing because it knew that it would never live again. All it wanted was just one more day, just one minute to enjoy its life on this earth. Well, you know what I could think about? This one life was about to end. What are you thinking about? <laughs> well, after that, I, uh, I swore to God that I would never kill anything again. But every day that went by, that hunger grew. The hunger to see that struggle to live. You see, I don't like what I have to do. But I am fascinated by it. We'll see you
Well, 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 Jack. Hey. Nice of you to join us. Nice to see your work ethic still supersedes your punctuality. Sorry I'm late. So, we're toasting to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You mean property? What? Well, the phrase in the Bill of Rights actually reads, nor shall any person be deprived of life, liberty, or property. <laughs> what? Always buy the book, Jack, huh? Always. It's nice to see they all going together again. 